<laughs> All right, let's see. We're rolling. This is episode 46. 46. Everybody, welcome to Conic Thoughts. My name is Richard. I'm doing a little something different today. Join me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, welcome. Hey, everybody. I'm Richard, and this is my channel where I look at different things of the world and contrast them with scripture. Being against the world, that's contra mundum. That's not new to me. Uh, that's from Athanasius, 4th century church father. Uh, fighting against the world, but for the world. And that's where I add the pro mundo. That's for the sake of the world. So we were all once in the world. I was, you were. Whether we were 5 years old or 55 years old, we were once hostile and enemies of Christ. Today, a little different. The uh, last couple of days I've done uh, wokey, false, liberal, progressive -y, just bad Christianity, so-called, and bad arguments uh, of, of people. That's one of the things I do. I like to also just look at scripture, do Bible studies. I've got some on the channel. Uh, if you're interested in that, I also did a series. I'm doing a series with, I'm almost done with it, on Vody Bauckham's book. I actually have it right here. Uh, Fault Lines, really great book um, on social justice and critical race theory, intersectionality, and all those other things. So go ahead and check that out here if you haven't already. Uh, it's It's been a good time, and I've been usually premiering those on Tuesdays. So I've talked to a number of guests and yeah, so today we're going to watch though, I'm going to do a reaction um, and it's a little different. This is another channel and they're basically faking. You've probably seen some of these videos where they sneak into or they fake or they trick or, you know, they just do different stuff. There's these different kind of, generally they're guys and they're usually younger guys, probably single. So they have a lot of time on their hands. They're pretty clever. And um, this is from a couple years ago, but I'm going to go ahead and play this and we'll go ahead and watch this it says we faked a model to top we faked a model to the top of fashion week all right well we wanted to put this theory to test and get our seemingly normal run-of-the-mill englishman to the top of london fashion week the only trouble was we had one day to do it the zach. So zach and jay show brits they've got almost a million subs Pretty funny, uh, pretty crass. The crass. plan was simple. We'd buy the worst outfit possible, turn up to Fashion Week, and try and cause a scene. But first, it was time to find a model. We needed someone who exudes... So they find their friend, and he's a pretty thin, young guy, uh, British guy, and... Yeah, <clears throat> his name, um, Fosh. I think it's Max Fosh. He's got a pretty big channel now. This was from a couple years ago, so I don't know if he was known then but i just watched another video of his it was pretty funny so we'll skip ahead a little bit they go to like ross this is in the uk primark probably like ross or tj maxx some of these places like this in the in the states and they just find the most ridiculous things just the most ridiculous bags and terrible shoes and you know tacky plastic and anyway someone who's comfortable on camera he gets dressed up so he wraps fragile tape around his leg this is it Minute 440. <laughs> it's just like, what are we doing? Anyway, you might be thinking, well, why are, why are we watching this? Well, here, uh, I want... Bear with me. Two outfits and less than 50 quid spent. It was time to bring our creation to life. I'm getting on public transport. Right? So he puts on the clothes, 548, around six minutes. He's got, you know, the tacky shirt. He's got the stuff, the tape, life, rage, gag, blah, blah, blah. And it's just just weird. He's got a little dangly earrings, <clears throat> fragile tape wrapped around his legs. Just ridiculous. What is he doing? Well, again, basically the fashion week. I'm not a fashion expert at all, um, nor do I want to be. But basically there's runways and shows and they're this and they're that and everything else and people are there right and they have to be outside kind of like a hollywood red carpet if you've watched the oscars or golden globes or something like that and they show up and walking around doing all this other stuff so they show him step three walk the walk this is minute 6 15 or so now he's outside and he's got a couple friends and then the friends basically pose as paparazzi, right? They're taking pictures, and this is what work. I want us to do. Two minutes of being at Fashion Week, and Max was already turning heads. How do you feel about that test run, Maximus? Max was in the zone. 
in character. He was no longer Max Foch from Street Smart. He was 16-year-old modeling prodigy Maximus Bucharest from Bucharest. <laughs> It must have went to his head because he stormed ahead against the plan where the photographers hang with no warning, without his bag, without taking off his trousers or coat. With an out mismatched outfit, this was getting messy, but we only had one shot of this. It was game on. Right, Max Willis. Max Willis. Can we get a few, few over here? So, I mean, he's dressed ridiculous, right? Like, he just looks ridiculous. But let's be real here. There's a woman they show in the preview uh, who's walking around with two Another one has like a tent. Like it's literally just like a tent. She, you can't even see her arms. You just see her, you know, skinny legs. And it's like, what? <laughs> now, if you see here, all right, minute 742. Right here. Look at how many people there are. He had two friends, right? Maybe a third friend taking pictures and doing that. But what I want us to do, now there's what? Two, three, four, five, six eight, ten photographers. They're not all friends. These are real photographers, mind you. Real photographers, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Tight, and stick it out of his trousers. What, what they're but doing it wasn't long until is the fact that online. he <laughs> is <laughs> tricking them. Right? He's tricking them and they're literally unaware. And my point here, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's insane. Here, just, but my point is that people are gullible. People just go along to go along. They're, they're not even asking or questioning or saying, who is this person? But they see some sort of hot new whatever, and they're like, ah, yeah. Just like sheep, without a shepherd, just wandering away. But as Christians, and this is part of this channel, why, why I do this channel, to be against the world but for the world, in the sense of being against something. You know, this is funny. I'm not against this being funny. I'm against the ideology of these people who are taking photos. I don't know any of them. I don't even know their names, let alone their worldview. But I would imagine <clears throat> it's probably fairly secular. Well, Christ calls his people. He calls everybody, ultimately. But it's only those who submit are his people. To take every thought captive, 2 Corinthians 10.5, we demolish arguments in every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take every thought captive to make it obedient to Christ. That's a huge difference. Huge, huge difference, right? Further still, James 1, 6 says, Do not be deceived, my brothers and sisters, my, bre my brethren. Because right before that, he says, you know, he has the sequence of God isn't responsible for sin, but, it, but thoughts and then gives birth to sin. Sin brings death and so on. And then he says, every good and perfect gift is from above the Father of lights in whom there's no variation or shifting shadow. That's James 1. And then lastly, Colossians 1. I want you to know, excuse me, for I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, those at Laodicea. Oh, that's 2-1. That's not what I want to, excuse me. There it is, 2-8. That's right, it wasn't 2. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy, an empty deception according to the tradition of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather according, rather than according to Christ. For in him all the fullness of deity dwells bodily. See to it that no one takes you captive. Don't be gullible, right? Don't be like these people who are like, I don't know who this is, whatever, I'm just going to take pictures. Boom, boom, boom. Who is this guy? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to take pictures. I don't know. This is, I mean, it's... <laughs> the first time I watched it, it was just I was, I was busting up. Because it's funny. I mean, it is funny. It's very... I'm not trashing these young guys at all. All I'm really doing is calling these photographers and anybody else, especially in the secular world, to just <clears throat> pay attention and know that you're just a follower like everybody else. So don't lambast the Christian who's following Christ and be like, oh, I'm not religious. I don't do this. Well, I don't do that. Oh, it's just a bunch of fairy tales. You're believing that this person who's literally nobody, I mean, he's a guy, but he's literally nobody. He's not a model. He's nobody. And he's dressed in the most ridiculous outfit from Ross, TJ Maxx, whatever it's called in the UK. And, and they're just, just going right along.
just go along to get along. And I guess this is why we've seen over the last, you know, 20, 22 months of people just rolling over <clears throat> because, you know, the government says, so I got to do it. You know, what else am I supposed to do? When you don't have any convictions, you don't believe anything, nothing, you'll believe anything, right? As the phrase goes, you believe nothing, you'll then believe anything. And uh, that goes to that. Now, it's not that extreme in this situation, but I find it very funny that these people are so gullible. Just, just taking pictures. And they ask him, hey, what are you wearing? What are you doing this? Hey, where are you? Hey. And he actually, and later in the video, he even gets into a show. And he's, you know, on Instagram and this and the phone. And, ah, they're tweeting and they're doing the whole live stream. And it's just like, what? But he has like a bag. I mean, I'll put the link in the description below. It's hilarious. Anyway, don't be, don't be captivated by the world. Okay, be captive to Christ. Take every thought, intention under Jesus. Okay, that's the whole point. Don't be captive to empty, de <clears throat> empty deception and philosophy. Rather, be captive to Christ. And that's the thing. He says, Paul, even here in Colossians 2, he doesn't say philosophy. Oh, it's bad. You know, we see that bad philosophy. No, bad philosophy is bad. <laughs> but good philosophy has to answer bad philosophy. Just because it's philosophy doesn't mean it's bad. It's like something like nationalism or something like that. You instantly think, oh, bad, right? Or you know, male leadership or something that's weird in the church these days in the culture. People on, in, instantly think that thing is bad. No, it's like an orange or an apple. Is it bad? Well, it's bad if you choke on it, I guess. But otherwise, it's not bad in and of itself. So philosophy isn't bad. You need to be captivated by Christ's philosophy. So I hope you find this well. I hope you found this a little humorous. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. It does push this content to more folks and um, help me build the channel, uh, help me to produce more stuff more regularly and have a little bit more um, time and energy to do that. I am a pastor, so I have limited time. Of course, I've got family as well, but this is fun. So drop a comment. I like to hear where people are from and um, I kind of get bits and pieces of people. Sometimes people will email uh, sometimes people will uh, drop a comment on Gab or something like that. You can follow me there. I'm not on Twitter. Because uh, it's the devil. It's, it really is a cesspool. Anyway. Until next time, be against the world for the sake of the world. world okay? Take care.